All right, guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, this question comes up quite a lot in the Octane Blender forum, eh, or Facebook group, rather. Eh, shout out to Bartek while I'm here as well, quality moderator. But the issue is, users, when they export out a Z-depth pass, eh, it's completely white and it's unusable. And it's a pretty simple solution for this, but if you don't know the answer, well, it can be quite annoying. So I'm going to show you how to quickly set this up. Now, I'm also going to show you a quick Photoshop plugin that's fundamental when you're doing stuff like this. But anyway, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the Z-Depth Pass. So if I go to the view layer, you can see here under the info, it's usually hidden away down the bottom here. Uh, you can enable the Z-Depth. And when I go to hit F12, it'll render out the combined and the beauty. And when I go to the Z-Depth, give it a couple of seconds, probably should put the samples down, it's completely white. Now, if I go to image and I save this as an open EXR multi-layer and we keep it 32 bit and so let's quickly open this up in Photoshop and while I'm here I'm going to show you this plugin it's EXR.io it actually has a blender plugin that will name all the composition layers as well for you um, really nice workflow actually but this is free and if you use Photoshop you probably already know about it to be honest but it essentially strips the layers down for you so I'm going to quickly open up with that EXR that we just saved uh, you get a nice dialog box, you hit open you can see you have my beauty, I have my combined and the Z depth is completely white so how do we correct this, how do we fix this issue and it's pretty simple to be honest so I know this cylinder is 100 meters in the back so if you actually scroll down just a little bit you can see the Z depth max is set very low, it's set to 5 now I believe, I believe, might not be right but I believe this is actually in meters so just for talking sake if I set this to 200 meters and then hit F12 you can see the Z depth pass is now working which means I can now save this out as an open EXR image uh, so let's go to save as multi-layer uh, let's increment this save you can see that I've been practicing this tutorial <laughs> uh, let's quickly open up this as well And there you go, you have your beauty, you have your combined, and you have your Z-Depth Pass. Now, one issue that might arise, or something might be wrong, or you might feel that the blacks aren't as black and things don't seem to be sitting right, it could be because you're working in the wrong kind of colour space, or you've got post-processing on. So generally what happens is, if you go to the Octane image, especially in the preview mode, uh, your response is usually set to sRGB, just to give you a working example, and the gamma is set to 1%. Now what you can do is you can switch this to a linear workflow and go to linear and everything will go dark again but if you set this to 2.2 it'll fix it itself. So just in case things don't seem to be working right or they just don't feel right it could be because of that. And that's pretty much how you set up a Z-Depth pass and export it from Blender Octane. Now obviously with this Photoshop plugin it'll take more than one layer so it doesn't necessarily need to be a z-depth pass it can be all these it can be uv it can be object id stuff like this anyway uh, if you enjoyed this video take care